everyone, it's Carrie from Carrie's Reef Creations. I am here today to show you how to make a pleated or veined petal. Um, if you watched my live from a couple of days ago, um, or if you're scrolling back through my videos and you watched the video where I made the daisy wreath, I did add some green leaves to that daisy, and I uh, had already prepped my petals. They're, um, they look like leaves and they have sort of a pleat down the middle. And I explained in the video how to do it, but wanted to show a demonstration. Um, so I did not invent this petal by any means, but just wanted to show you what my process is. So you will need an iron and an ironing board. Um, you will need a piece of parchment paper, okay? And you will also need your poly burlap. Um, so I cannot uh, tell you for sure how this would work with any other type of mesh. I've only ever done this with poly burlap. Um, I did start in a 10 by 10 square, which I um, did use the wood burning tool to cut that. But then I just used my rotary cutter to cut it diagonally. There's no need to wood burn this, this diagonal cut because you're actually going to gather your petal there. Um, so, I mean, you're certainly welcome to wood burn that part of it, but you don't actually have to. Um, so let me show you how to make the pleats in your petal. So you're gonna take just half of your 10 by 10 um, it's in a triangle shape right now, and I'm gonna just go ahead and fold it in half, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna protect my ironing board by just sort of, I have my uh, parchment paper. I'm actually just gonna put the petal right in between the two pieces here. So I have uh, parchment paper protecting my board, and then I'm gonna put this over like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I have my iron. It is uh, just a basic Black & Decker iron. It is set on the highest setting, number six. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just on the very edge, so I can see my petal, you can't really see on camera, but I can see my, my mesh through the, the parchment paper. I'm just gonna be running the very edge of my iron along that crease. So just like this. And you may have to go back and forth a few times. Sometimes I just use the tip of the iron because it helps me sort of aim better of where exactly I want that pleat. And I'm just going on the very edge, okay? I did just plug this in, so it's not quite as hot as it could be, but still hot enough to do what we wanted to do. And what's gonna happen as you run this along, you're going to see where um, the, the mesh is actually melting and you'll see it kind of darken. Uh, between the um, the layers of the um, parchment paper. So you can kind of see how there's like a little bit of dark right here. That's because I've essentially just melted that. So that means that my petal should be ready to go. So then I just take it out and it will be, sometimes it gets a little stuck in there so you might have to peel it off. Um, and then when you open it up, you have this nice pleat down the center. Okay, you can get the same effect with hot glue, but it's just nice to do it with the iron because I think it makes it straighter. You don't have to worry about any glue sort of peeking through. Um, and then of course, you don't have to worry about glue melting and having the petal lose its shape. So then in order to make it into a leaf, what I do is I just gather along the bottom. I usually start in the middle and go to one end and then the other end. And I, I do this for my leaves, but you could actually make an entire wreath with your petals looking like this. It's just a, you know, a different look, but there's your leaf and it looks pretty lifelike. This is why I like to use this style for my leaves, okay? So I'll show you one more time. I would obviously put this in the board. I'm actually not working on anything at the moment, so I kind of don't really need that, but we'll put it aside because I do have something I'll use it for later. So again, I take my, half of my 10 by 10. I just cut this edge with a rotary cutter. I did heat seal um, when I cut the 10 by 10 squares, but then when I cut it diagonally, I just went ahead and used the rotary cutter because as you could see from where I folded the petal, I just gathered it along the part that's um, that I cut with the rotary cutter. So that's going to go into the zip tie and you're not going to see that. So I just folded it in half. Okay. Got my tip lined up there. Okay. And then I'm putting that into the fold of my parchment paper here, okay? And then I'm gonna take my iron and just run it along the edge, okay? And as soon as I see it sort of start to darken, then I know it's melting and it's gonna form that crease that I want, okay? So just to make sure that's all nice and even. All right, so you might be able to tell on camera where it's sort of darker on this line right here, okay? So then I open this up and take it out and unfold it and 
there is my crease, okay? And then once again, to form your petal, you would just put it on its side here and just gather along this edge right here, okay? That's all for today. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, hope this was helpful and have a great day, everyone. Bye.